Well, we've made it to the end of ISE 2022. And what a show it's been. We thought we'd have a little catch up and find out what the guys thought about the show floor, some of the products they've seen, and a bit of feedback with regards to how everything's gone. So, Sai, what are, you, what, are, what are your thoughts? How's it been for you? It's been a good show. And I think pretty much everybody at the Exhibition Centre would probably say the same thing, to be perfectly honest. It's been enthusiastic, it's been busy, and to be honest, it's, it's exceeded my expectations by a fair margin. How do you feel, Richard? We didn't know what this was going to, we were going to come into, and neither did the exhibitors. I think the expectations were very, very low, and they've been exceeded. The pre-reg was 54,000, we were told today. I think the actual figures will be 42, 43. It feels busy. The aisles are quite full all three days. The well, fourth day is a bit of a takeaway. Going into next year, it's nothing but positive. And I think in terms of you know the effort people have put in to come here, we've seen quite a lot of visitors from you know some far afield countries, a lot of from South America. You, know, you, you had meetings with some South African distributors, didn't you? Yeah, there's been a, a strong showing from the Middle East, Latin America as well, apparently. I wonder whether the clash with Infocom has limited things from the North American side. Perhaps some of the American attendees that are here this week have, d have chosen ISE instead of Infocom or vice versa. From a point of view of product launches here and, you know, what we all know is going on with supply chain issues and things like that. What's, what have you been seeing that's really stood out for you? I don't know about yourselves, I was expecting a glut of new products to be unveiled here because we've had two years of stagnation. I was hoping the wraps would be coming off multiple booths of way groundbreaking technology. And there has been, there's been quite a few noticeable ones. but. Going back to the uh, supply chain, let's talk about that. I mean, you've seen this, haven't you, Simon? Yeah, so I think a lot of the focus on the products are getting a first showing for things that they've announced over the last couple of years. At the end of the day, are you going to introduce a brand new product when you're not really sure when you can actually release that into the market? I think we're all agreed that it's, it's been a great show, it's been great to be back. You know, we love Barcelona, we think the theatre is really, you know, it, it, the flow is great. But were you getting any kind of feedback from exhibitors about anything that they weren't maybe too happy about? I'll start with a positive for a second though. Yes. I really like the layout at the theatre. For me, it's been far more efficient to get around than the Rye, where it felt like often I was running in circles for days at a time. But there were some negatives as well. Signage, I think 100% could have been better. Uh, I've found myself several times in a rough location of where I need to be, but then having to work quite hard to find out that final last bit. Getting in and out of here has been a little bit frustrating, especially leaving the, uh, exiting the halls, because the, unless you take a metro to get a taxi, it's a long, long queues. Seven o'clock end, maybe not. It, it, I don't think. I think most exhibitors are ready to wrap up at six, and I think most attendees are. They want to go out and eat and drink. They've done the business really by then. We always knew there'd be teething problems. It's like the opening night of a concert uh, series where you can do as much homework as you want, and uh, but you're going to have a few problems. It's frayed around the edges and area. The organisers will get it right for next year, I'm sure. To wrap up, then, I mean, goodness. We're going to be back here in eight and a half months' time. I mean, how does that make you feel? Not only that, but there's a fair <laughs> number of trade shows that we've got to get round before we even get there. Yeah, back. it's like a car crash, here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, we've all got deadlines and day jobs, and uh, yeah, fitting in the exhibitions is hard. And I think a lot of uh, exhibitors have shown that by non appearances. These shows, they can't be at everyone uh, fiscally or logistically. But it has been good. I mean, from our point of view, seeing the products, feeling the products that we've talked about for two years, as much as we like the hybrid solution of going on teams and saying we'll continue to do that, of course, but it doesn't beat the real thing, does it? I think we're all happy, not just for the products, but really to, for meeting up with people and just really catching up where we left off from before. Definitely. 
it's good to be back. It's good to be back. And it's good to be warm. 